As most of you know, I spent almost all of 2020 in a bed. After thinking about it, I probably spent 75% of 2020 sleeping. And for most of you, this is probably similar. As of today, 2020 has probably been the hardest year of our lives. From physical to mental health problems, we've all been through a lot. This year, I don't have any sick drone shots to show you or beautiful sunsets, but I do have something more real to show you. You see, we all go through life never slowing down, choosing a goal and thinking there is nothing else in the world that matters. And once we reach that goal, we'll be happy. The media and society feeds you this. Hard work until you drop, right? But what happens when you do drop? What happens when you get diagnosed with cancer or a global pandemic outbreaks? You see, a friend gave me this new perspective near the end of the year, and it made so much sense with what happened to me and most people this year. He said, you need to realign what's important to you now and not in the future. If you live for the future, what are you chasing? There's no such thing as a destination and you'll always want more. When you reach a million bucks, you want a billion bucks. You reach one goal and think of another and never appreciate where you are now. And that's what 2020 did for me. It made me stop, think, appreciate what I have and what I had. How many of you wish you had appreciated parties more before the pandemic? Sure as hell wish I did. So if there's anything you're going to learn from 2020, please let it be to slow down, appreciate what you have, and realize what makes you happy now, not in the future. Because it could all be taken away at any moment. So here I am, fully recovered from this horror of a year. I've gotten my hair back. I've lost over 40 pounds after gaining 40 pounds all this year. I've started a new passion because I was so focused on my other goals that I didn't see what really matters right now. I hope you guys are fully recovered from this hectic year because let me tell you, 2020 is not ready for us. Creators, keep creating. We'll see you guys next year. Peace. And let me tell you, it feels nice to have a hair back. What do you guys think, eh? Should I keep the spike or should I grow it out for the ponytail? Comment below. <laughs>